And for lovers of old world style pizza, only one kind of oven will suffice. Brick ovens are as old as civilization. And Marsal and Sons of Long Island, New York has been making industry renowned pizza ovens since 1969. But as you can see, the modern models they assemble also require a lot of steel. You know, whoever drives this car has got to be pretty serious about pizza ovens. I'm with Chef Bruno. He's the corporate chef here at Marsal. And you know a thing or two about making pizzas, I guess. What do you want to know? You're famous for your brick ovens. Yes. It gives you a very crunchy, old-fashioned style of pizza. Why are they going back to the world? Because it's, it cooks faster. And it cooks more dry and more crunchy. A raw product, like mushroom, have a lot of water. Mm -hmm. Olives got a lot of water. Me, I don't like a soggy pizza. I like a very dry pizza. Are we going to go in a brick oven? You're not going to get all that water in here anymore. It's not the bricks on the outside that make the difference. They're just for show. It's these bricks on the inside. The stone retains the heat, and then it throws the heat on top of your product. Two distinct kinds of bricks line Marsal's pizza ovens. The first is this lightweight clay variety. This is called fire brick, and this is what we use in the back of the oven and on top of the oven to create that dome and create that chamber that the pie is cooking in. This type of brick draws out a lot of moisture. What that does is it brings out more flavors that you wouldn't normally taste in a standard type oven, and it makes a better pie. The second type of brick used for the cooking surface is this 70-pound slab. The product name is called Fiber Mint, and it's made by a company called Armco in Chicago. And what we do differently than anybody else is we take their brick and we have them make it for us two inches thick. Everybody else in the deck industry uses about an inch and a half. And we found that the two inch holds more heat. Right. And there's five of these in there. That's 350 pounds wow. of brick holding heat. These bricks not only intensify the oven's heat, but disperse it more evenly. Many standard deck ovens and pizzerias have cold spots. So it really takes a cook who's attentive uh, to move a pizza around an oven, and you see the guys lifting them up and trying to rotate them so that they're cooking evenly, you don't have that problem here. Right. An untrained person can cook pizza in this oven. Like me. Right, like you. I might even have a shot at putting you. on a good-looking pie uh, because it's going to cook evenly. Yes. Marcel's burner design also helps create a more even heating surface because it's shaped like a ladder instead of the U common in other ovens. So everything about this oven is built in order to spread the heat out evenly. Correct. Now these stones are so heavy that they can't be shipped in the oven. They have to be inserted once they get to the restaurant. But just to show you how they go in, oh gosh, that's, it's definitely heavy. We're going to put the rough side up. This is the area that's going to be in contact with the crust. The little dimples in the rough side create more cooking area because the hot air gets trapped inside there and it gives it a really good looking crust. That gets slid down to the end. Then five of them go all the way across. You can already see the brick that's in the back of the oven. That's that softer, lighter brick we were talking about. And we've got the heavy, sturdy cooking surface there. Just four more of those and a little shipment and we're ready to go and make some pizza. And with Chef Bruno's help, I wanted to see for myself the difference that a brick oven makes to help our pepperoni, mushroom, and olive pizza. We cooked one pie in Marsal's brick oven and another in its standard deck. Watch this. Slides right off. Nice. Remember how the yeast in the dough makes the crust a living thing? Well, once each pizza hits 140 degrees, it dies. The same goes for the healthy bacteria in our mozzarella and pepperoni. But the heat also brings the pizza's flavor to life. There's another authentic pizza here. This is the standard deck. That's a good looking pizza. Now we're going to show you the bottom. I can crack it, see? Oh, yeah, sure. It's nice and brown and even. Even. Yeah. Okay, that's the way they want it in America. It's uh, mushy, uh, most soft. Then we peeked in the brick oven. Oh, yeah, crust looks great, chef. Now, stay right there. You see the sizzling? Oh, yeah. I'm going to show you that these ovens are much hotter. Boy, and that looks absolutely well, gorgeous. Now, you see the mushroom like I was telling you, OK? You see, they're more drier. They're more little shrinkage. Uh-huh. That was six. This is five. Oh, wow, so this one took even less time yeah. to make, and yet it's still got that beautiful charred crust. Can we see the bottom of that yes. crust, too? That's beautiful. Italian pizza, OK?
It looks great. We have uh, two good-looking pies. Same ingredients, same everything. But look at the difference from one oven to another. People, I want the real uh, Italian uh, touch. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is it. All right, well, I think that of these two, this is the one I want to try. You're getting that crust? Yeah, it just sounds awesome, smells great. Oh, wow, romantic style, huh? I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. Here you go. Oh, we're feeding each other? Here you go. Oh, man. Wow. Chef, this is perfect. I love the char on the crust. Yeah. Man, your sauce is awesome. Mm -hmm. You cannot get a better pizza than this one. Absolutely awesome.